welcome back to my channel. So today is a little car vlog. We're on our way to Savannah's therapy appointment, but it's not a therapy video. I just thought we'd give a little bit of a life update, sort of, um, since Savannah graduated high school. The two days ago, we had her graduation party at my best friend's house because she has a big pool. So she had a little pool party with her friends. And I think Savannah enjoyed that, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, I didn't put on makeup this morning. They don't care. Write in the comments if you think it's horrible when Savannah doesn't wear makeup. It is. I got the skin of an old lady. Oh, Jesus. But, um, yeah, the the graduation party was a lot of fun. Um, I can throw in some clips of it right here for you to see. Yep. I am. Loser. I am. Graduation mock awards. Most likely to succeed. Most gorgeous. Best singer slash actress. I beg to differ. We Same. got, we got, <laughs> we got Favor and Nevin no. and Jones and Jaden all si and Jose all sitting right here. Okay, but Actually, I, I, I think Tanner's the best singer. I only yeah, have one daughter. Two, What's not here? Like to, okay. Thank you. Definitely oh, best dressed, dad. obviously. Most inspirational. Most creative, best hair, that's Jose. <laughs> best jester and thing. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> most likely to text in class, that is not true. Mm -hmm. Most intelligent, Andrew. most changed, best writer, most clumsy, best friend, most liked by parents. <laughs> best mental health advocate, worst at sports, yeah. Best sister and best daughter. Skyler fell. I stepped in a puddle! <laughs> so, uh, I invited my boyfriend and my friends. Oh, and her best friend yeah. lied to her. Tanner, you've seen him on my videos. Yeah. Lied to her saying that he had to work. He lives out of state, um, like four or five hours away. So, he lied to her and said, sorry, I can't make it. Um, but a week before her party, he messaged me and was like, I'm going to surprise her. I'm going to show up. So He thought you were going to tell on him. Yeah, he thought I was going to tell you. I, it was hard to keep the secret because... They can't keep secrets. Well, it was because, like, every time I was trying to remember how many people are coming, he was one of the ones I wanted to count. You know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. but, um, but, yeah, so he showed up and surprised her. And I got that on video. It was completely unexpected. Usually, like, I know Tanner does surprises, and, like, at first, like, when he first told me he couldn't make it because of work, I was a little bit like, watch, he's going to show up at my house, like, randomly. That day, you said, I keep waiting for Tanner to call me and say, I'm up the street. Yeah. And I wanted to laugh so bad, thinking, no, he's not up the street, but he is coming. <laughs> yeah, but then he ended up showing up, and it was a lot of fun. I'm glad he was there. And then a bunch of your other friends. Like, a lot of my musical friends. Um, my best friend, Emily. Yeah, I think everyone had fun. My mom adores my friends. Like, she's obsessed with them. Yes. Because for the first time ever, you have really, really, really great friends. Like, a lot of your friends, except for maybe a couple, um, were just awful people, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but finally, you have a group of friends that I just really like. Yeah, because one of the friends that was there, I've been friends with since, ki since kindergarten. Yeah, so I, I liked her and her family the whole time, obviously. Um, 
She has another friend that, that wasn't at the party, um, but she's also known her since grade school. That what? I like her and her family. Oh. Angel. Um, but, and then I liked Tanner right away, right away. But all her other friends, like junior high friends and stuff, and um, beginning of high school friends, awful, just awful people. I didn't like them, so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because, oh, here's another life update. I forgot to tell you guys. We're in a cult. What cult did we join? I don't fucking know. <laughs> the mother-daughter cult? Mother-daughter cult. Ew. That's cringy. I would never join that. <laughs> life update. I've been dating my boyfriend for like three weeks. He was late to her party, though. She was all fucked. Yeah. Jose. I think that's the first time we said his name in the video and kept it. Jose, talking to you. <laughs> They're so adorable together. You got a blinding light on you right now. Whoops. And my husband gets along with them really well. We both bonded over Fast and the Furious. <laughs> yeah, they love action movies. So and his best friend Tanner likes him, which is such a huge deal because Tanner doesn't like him. Yes, anything. his approval is a big thing. And Skylar likes him. Skyler yeah. likes Tanner and Jose, and Skyler doesn't like anybody either, so that's also a big deal. Yeah. Jose said he would watch Twilight with me. Oh my eyes! My eyes! But I'm gonna have to keep waking him up because he's gonna fall asleep. We'll see if that actually happens. What? <laughs> he's watching it. All five at once. 20 hours of pain. All at once. All for you. <laughs> um, the I'm other one. Going to therapy. Thing... Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? I was gonna say, um, the kittens all have homes now. They just turned nine weeks old a couple days ago, and they all have homes. They all left. So it's bittersweet. I'm happy that they have a home, but it always makes me sad. This is making me mad. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, one of the kittens that was gonna go to a home, um, the lady was like, well, I want your smallest female. And she never specified in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, and I only had one kitten left for her, but it didn't matter because they are all males. So I had to hurry up and try to find a home for the last one that was uh, by himself mm -hmm. uh, for about a week that's until sad. I found him a home. I know. But I did finally find him a home, so that's good. The big life update is we got a puppy. So a month ago, a little over a month ago, um, our last dog passed away of old age and I was like okay well now we're just a cat family it's, cats are easier they're less responsibility um, but my husband cannot live without a dog and he's wanted a certain breed of dog I guess his whole life and he finally talked me into it so we went and got a boxer puppy and she is so stinking cute her name is Raven, and um, we brought her with to Savannah's graduation party, and my best friend has ducks, <laughs> so I have a little cute video of her chasing ducks, so I'll put that in here too. She's going after the Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah, she's she's just the sweetest little thing ever. Literally the cutest dog. I think the kids love her. Yeah. Sorry, I zoned out for a second. Uh yeah, she's so cute. I love her. She's really good, like she she goes potty every time we go outside like she's trained on that already and like she's just she's really she's great i love her first time i saw her in person and i just my heart melted i was like okay <laughs> now she's gonna be my little baby and i'm gonna dress her up and <laughs> make her my little Ooh, baby sometime we have to go to five below because they have little pride dog shirts really yes but yeah that's um that's our big update is the puppy I think, is that the last of the big updates? I think it is. Savannah graduated. Yeah, I don't know if we have any other like major
major updates. I got promoted. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Santa got promoted at her job. So I'm gonna be working two jobs now in the same restaurant. I am a host and I graduated to a car side. But yeah, I'm but really yeah. nervous to train for that. I train on Wednesday. Car side is considered a promotion because there's a, there's like more to it and you're by yourself. But you've worked there, what, three, two, three months now? Yeah. But, yeah. Also, I know Savannah's been wanting to tell the story of how her and her boyfriend got together, so you can use this video for that if you okay. want. Okay. Um, I don't know where to start. You guys followed the journey of my crush, so, like, you kind of know all the backstory with that. If you're new to my channel, you can go back and watch literally any video when she's talking about her crush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it goes back to, like, the beginning of this year probably of me well, talking, of you about, talking him. about it yeah because mm -hmm. she's liked him for many years kind of <laughs> okay so uh i guess i'll start with like musical we were getting closer or whatever you know and i was talking to him and uh we had hung out a few times at that point like in groups uh but during the musical um, on show nights, they had little roses that, like, audience members, when they go in, they can buy them and, like, write, they have, like, cards and you can write on it, um, for the person, and so I had one of the crew members go get me a rose for him, and then I wrote on the card, and my friends were like, you need to ask him out on the card, write down, will you be my girlfriend on it, because it's funny, because, like, if he says no, like, it could just be, like, a joke. Like, yeah, it says girlfriend, you know? So they literally stole from me and wrote, will you be my girlfriend on it? And uh, <laughs> later that night, I was, like, waiting for him to pick it up. I didn't see him pick it up, but my friends were like, oh, my God, he saw it. And he, like, got super excited when he saw it. And he uh, that night, we hung out in Sandy, my friend's mom van. Uh, and I sat on his lap. And he said yes, but I didn't know if that meant we were official, and like or it if he kind was also of didn't it as a joke. Yeah, so we were just kind of like in a weird limbo spot. Yeah, until prom. Prom was the next weekend. We went to prom together. We like had a good time and whatever. And then, in between prom and after prom, we went to um, Emily's boyfriend's place and hung out for a little bit. And her boyfriend was like, because I was like, I was saying something. And Jordan was like, just hang out with your boyfriend. Jordan is her boyfriend. But hang out with your boyfriend. And I was like, what boyfriend? And I look at him and he looks at me and then he goes, like, will you be mine or whatever? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then he was like, sorry it took so long. And then for the last couple weeks of school, you know, we were together, so everyone saw us together and everyone said we were like the cutest couple. And now we're in a happy marriage, <laughs> honeymoon phase. <laughs> we're in a happy relationship. Uh, I got a jealous coworker, <laughs> but yeah. He's too old for you anyway. No one's too old for me, I'm 17. <laughs> okay. So you would date a 70 year old? Yep. If that 70 year old were Cody Fern, then yeah. Cody Fern's canceled, guys. <laughs> All my boyfriends got canceled. Oh well. Like in the last year. Alright, well, we are about to pull into McDonald's because Savannah wants coffee. So I guess I'm going to make that uh, this the end of the video. Bye, poopies. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. See you next time. Bye, poopies.